Hello and welcome back to my unturned survival guide. I have done some stuff off camera, I have traveled a little bit, discovered a little bit, and organized my inventory. There is a place right up there that I'm excited to loot because I think it has some pretty cool stuff. Hopefully it will have a map, I'm not sure, we will have to see, but I think it's a pretty cool area. I'm not sure if it's a, a, um, a military area, area or not, but we will have to see. I also organized my inventory, which I would like to show you, just to give you an idea of what maybe you could do. So I dedicated uh, down here for tools um, and this basically as well, U utilities and tools here. Then I put the seeds here, seed stuff, planter um, and fertilizer. And then here is just random loot and up here is my medical, f and s medical stuff and food and water. This will just make it a lot easier for me to find stuff and when I need it and take stuff out and such. So that is pretty cool. For example, I now know where my knife is exactly and I know where my torch is exactly right there so I can go for it easily without having to look and search for it. Let's get right to it. I want to loot this place also. I did eat all the berries that we got from the berry farm uh, in the last episode because my thirst was at 5% so I ate them all and yeah, we're up to 53%. Hopefully this place will have some stuff. Let's get to looting. All right, so it's right up here. And I'm not sure what it is, but I know for a fact there's a bike there. But not only that, there's also a plane, and I think the plane is flyable. So again, I don't know if this is military or if it's civilian, but let's go ahead and see. I have my knife and I have my shotgun. Sadly, I only have two rounds in this thing, but we will see how we do with it. Looks like a, civ a um, civilian area, but... There's also a helicopter, so that is really, really cool. Let's get to it. Smack some zombies, loot the area, and uh, see what we get. Yeah, it does not seem like it is a military area, but I mean, we can hope that they at least have a little bit of food. That, no, no. I haven't played in a while, so I'm a little bit rusty. <laughs> Uh, I knew there was a guy in here. Nope, one of the other rooms. I just want food. Hello, buddy. Smack, smack, smack. I don't want to take too long uh, searching through this. I just want to do it real quick. Anything? I guess the corner. So, a frying pan? Uh, nah, I don't need a frying pan, I don't think. Alright. Peekaboo. Peekaboo. Uh, a bunch of binoculars. No food. That's unfortunate. Hey, buddy. I will need... Oh, hey. Hello, sir. How can I help you? Alright. I need a map. You'd think there might be a map or GPS in here. But no. Hey, buddy. I'm mainly looking for a military area. Because military areas might actually have... Um, a GPS, which is, to be honest, it's the map that I that I prefer because the GPS it's a lot more um, detailed than the than the map. But let's see. All right, this is definitely flyable. It has no fuel, but it has battery, and the health is not too bad. We can repair it, so that's pretty cool. We do have a construction area over here. Um, one small problem is that I do not have a fuel can. I can make my own, so in case there aren't one around here, then that's just what we will have to do, a jerry can. We will make our own. Yeah, it doesn't seem like we have much loot here actually at all. I was hoping for like a military area, but it does not look like it whatsoever. Let's clear this area real quick. We have a crawler. Let's smack him. We get a lot of experience, so that's good. We have plenty of fuel here, so that is beautiful. We do have a saw already, so we don't need that. To be honest, I'm mostly interested in the helicopter because we can get better around with the helicopter than we can with the um, the plane. No fuel again, but it does have battery and health, so that is wonderful. I think we will have to... What's this? Is this rival? That's cool. I've never seen this vehicle. Okay, I have to try and drive it. I just have to. 
that's cool. You can't really change any of the lifts or anything, from what I can see. Yeah, unfortunately. But, uh, that's cool. I like that. <laughs> that's a nice little addition. One thing that we can do with vehicles, we can actually build on them. So we could actually, like, build on top of this and make it into a truck, more or less. But we're not going to do that right now. I think we're going to do that in a separate video. Uh, or in a separate episode, I should rather say. Let me put this back here. And I think we will be making a makeshift here again. So let's get to that. Which means I just need to go down here and get my chainsaw. Organization is so good. Okay, I cannot jump over this. Do we have a hole? Oh, we do. We have a hole in the fence that fits perfectly to get to the trees. Uh, I don't actually remember what we need for the jerry can. So let me just grab all of that. And let me go to that. I do believe it's called jerry can. Yes. Two duct tape and seven pine planks, and we have the required skills, so that is beautiful. Uh, let's just make a bunch more planks then. Sometimes it's just easier to search it than it is to um, to find the category of it. Okay, so I need all of that. Is that a plank? That's a plank. Okay, I'm gonna. I need that, so I'm gonna drop a bunch of this so I can pick all that up, and now we go for Jerry. And we make the jerry can. Sweet. And then I can drop the sticks because we don't need them. Uh, do I have an extra plank? Yes, I do. We don't need those. Pick that back up. And eh, this eh, eh. Come on, move. Thank you. And I don't really have a spot for it, to be honest. Hmm. I wish I had a spot down here in my utilities but I do not but that's fine we can live with it like this uh, you know what I think hmm uh, move this here and drop that move that over I hate it when my inventory is cluttered all right let's uh ooh, one thing we could do actually let me think all right Here's what we're gonna do. We're not done crafting yet, so we're gonna come back for that wood because this helicopter has space in the back. We can put storage crates here. So until we actually find a spot to build a base, um, we can actually have two storage crates here, which is going to make our looting trips a lot easier. But first, let's uh, right click and equip it, or uh, control, I believe it is, right click, and it will just instantly get in your hand. Now, because this is, this is makeshift, so it doesn't have, it can't carry a whole lot of fuel, so I have to run back and forth quite a bit. So yeah, this is uh, this is gonna take a little bit. By the way, I don't think I actually explained. Uh, just walk over to the actual fuel reserve here, and then right click that will fill up the. Um, the jerry can and then just left click on the vehicle that you want to pour the the fuel into. You can also siphon fuel from vehicles. Again, just right click to drain it and then left click to put it in. So yeah, that's that's another thing. So like if you find maybe two cars, you want one, but there's only um, a little bit of fuel, but there's fuel in the other car, you can take the fuel from the other car um, into the one that you want, for example. If that made any sense. All right, that is the jerry can. I am going to because we will need to be doing a ton of crafting. So I'm gonna drop all of this here, just to make space for all the wood. Uh, I actually don't know if I have what I need. Where earth was that hole? But yeah, I'll be able to see it once we have all the planks that I need. Boom, 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 boom. We do need some sticks actually, so that is important. Let us make Jerry GG. <laughs> Let's get the plank. And let me search. Great. This is storage. All right. Sweet. So I just need a couple more sticks. And crate. I want two of these. But this is basically a crate. We can place it just like the campfire. And then we can open it. And then we have inventory space over here. So that is 
beautiful and we can of course pick it up you can't put items inside it and then pick it up and then the items will stay inside if you do that all the items will just drop on the ground let me demonstrate and there's our jerry can so yeah that's that you can also right click and see the fuel level or uh, how much fuel you actually have in this thing so that's cool i do need one more though so let's chop it down in another three let's do a let chop There we go. Lee chop chop. Alright. We only need seven planks. Was it seven planks for one? Yeah, seven planks. So, plank. Let's get one, a two, and a nine. And then, crate. And then, boom. Uh, I keep doing that. That's annoying. And we can just drop that because we don't need it. Let's get back to the helicopter. And let's put these in and let's, well, take off and repair it actually. I'll show you how to repair vehicles as well. It's really easy, you just gotta have a, a, a blowtorch. But now comes the fun part of fitting these in. As long as it's green, you can place it. I'm gonna put it right here. How does that look from the other side? That looks good, I like it. Another thing you can do, you can hold down right click and then you can spin around. So that is another thing that you can do. Uh, put it here. Can't put it too far in actually, so that's a bit annoying, but I think sometimes getting it right in the right place can be a bit annoying. I'm actually gonna take it out a bit and put it right at the edge here. I'm gonna do the same over here. We should be able to fit both of them in just fine. And right there. Cool. So now we have two uh, crates in here. So now I can pick up all this loot that we don't need for anything actually and then just smack it all in here. We don't need the gun, we don't have much ammo for it anyway. So yeah, it does fill up quite fast as you can see, but it's cool. So that is very nice. I'm actually going to put the seeds in here as well because I would rather have the inventory space in my inventory than uh, here. Now, uh, let me switch my knife around and let me show you how to repair it. So as you can see, the helicopter is on 78% health. So what I did was I equipped my blowtorch and then you just gotta hold left click and you can see the health going up just like that. And the battery will recharge itself. So we're ready to use this. Unfortunately, we didn't find a map over there, but maybe if we get up in the sky, we will be able to see something really cool. And hopefully we have enough fuel. All right, let's do it. Hop in. Now, the way you control this can be a little bit tricky. So you gotta be careful. If you're in this person, I, I'm moving my mouse right now, but my head is not moving. If I press H, we can look around and the helicopter is not controlled by your mouse. If we go back in, the helicopter is controlled by my mouse. So W to go up, hold W and we turn up the engines. And now I'm basically just going up. I'm gonna lower my volume so I can hear myself. Um, but yeah, now we're just basically going up and not touching my mouse. If I tilt it back, you can see where we're going. If I tilt it up, we're going that way. If I tilt it to the right, we go right. If I tilt it to the left, we go left. It can be a little bit tricky, but uh, you'll get used to it. It takes a little bit of practice. Um, I'm going to press H and now you can see that I am not controlling the helicopter with my mouse. Um, now I have to use the, um, the arrow keys to control this thing, all right? Now the helicopter does use quite a bit of fuel, so you wanna be a little bit careful. I'm actually going to land real quick and you turn down the engines by pressing S on your keyboard. Now, if you hit a tree or something, it will explode. All right, I'm gonna go in here because I have a lot more control using the mouse than I do with the, uh, the, the keyboard. If you hit a building or something, there's a chance that you will explode. You can also see how fast we're going uh, down at the right-hand corner kilometers per hour. I'm going to jump out right here because I'm actually going to fuel it up after that little tutorial session. And then, yeah, we're just gonna go in some sort of direction that seems 
potential that has a road on it, and I think we will be going in that direction to see what we can find. All right, final refueling of the can, and we will get going and see what we can find. So that was pretty cool. We had a little uh, vehicle tutorial session here. That's cool. All right, let's get in. Of course, in, if you're in multiplayer, peso to lock it. That's a good idea. We could take the plane as well, but that's a little bit more tricky to land. This one, you can actually just plop it right down. The plane, you actually need a road to uh, use as a runway. Now, it's do see that. Ah! Seven. That, that's ow. Okay, that was not my umbrella. I need the searcher kit fast. I broke both my legs and I was bleeding. Okay. The searcher kit does not heal broken legs, unfortunately. Okay. I thought seven was my was my umbrella. Um but yeah that 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 did not happen. Okay. Um let's try that again. As you can see, the helicopter didn't get damaged and it didn't explode or anything just by dropping like that. That's on turn fit six for ya. Alright. Let's try this again. Man, that was such a good run. I was trying to... I, okay, I don't know what I was trying to press. I think it was H to see around, but um, yeah. You gotta be careful what buttons you press. But let's go ahead to move forward. Um, you just tilt the helicopter forward um, like this. And yeah. Oh, what's that? That looks cool. That looks like maybe an, a military installation. GPS possibility. Alright, I'm gonna... Start lowering the engine speed a bit, so we can go down, but still tilting forward, so we will go move forward, so we don't just drop down. I'm gonna move a bit with the engines up. It takes a little bit of practice, um, but it's doable. It certainly is doable. I do need water soon as well, so that's a thing. Wait a second. Hold on. That does not look like a normal zombie. Jump out. Is that a normal zombie? Okay, that's a normal zombie. Because you can get zombies that are very big. As in, huge. And I do not have what it takes to deal with those right now. Alright, ow. Don't punch me. Mean. Okay, I'm just stopping here because maybe there's some ammo. Maybe there's a GPS. Oh, hey, buddy. Well, I have to check the tower because... Doesn't seem like we've got anything else around here. Can this open? No, it cannot. All right, let's move up in the tower. See what there is. Hope there's no zombie up here. Eh. Man, military knife, duct tape, military knife, and a coalition top. Okay. Well then, that, uh, that, I think it could have had a GPS, but it doesn't, unfortunately. We are a little bit pressed for time, because I have water issues. Oh yeah, I wanted to press H, because I wanted to see... Oh yes, it has sirens. If you press shift, if a vehicle has sirens, then it will turn those on. So that's pretty cool. Anyways, let's get back into the cab view here. Pull the mouse back to uh, stabilize the, the chopper. And let's move this way over the bridge, I think. Let's take a look. Uh, yeah, I think we want to go this way. Because I do see something over here. Yeah, there's something over here up ahead. So let's... Actually, that looks like... That looks like... Is that the same farm that we were at? No, it's not actually, but there is a campground over here. This is a campground right in front of... Or a logging something? Okay, I thought it was a campground. Looks like it's a logging thing. But, hey, potential map right here. As you can see, now that we have a helicopter, it is so easier, so much easier for us to, um, to get around the map easier. So that is really cool. Yeah, this looks like a logging camp, but let's see if we have, if they have a chart then. There's potential. So let's take a look. Then we will look at the farm. I don't think the farm will have a chart. I don't think it can spawn there. Unless there's like a, a shed. So we'll see. As you can see here, right here, I'm using the arrow keys to do it. Sometimes it's easier. Sometimes it's not. I feel like I have better control using the, um, using the mouse. 
But let's uh, go through this place real quick. Oh yeah, this place could have a chart. Let's see. Uh, do they have any food? A candy bar. Uh, a note. You can read that yourself. You can find these um, notes uh, sometimes around the map um, to give like the game a little bit of a, a story behind it. Oh, oh, me. All right. That that's that's nothing here. <laughs> There's pretty much nothing here. Do we have anything over here by any chance? No. Alright, I think I'm gonna leave the helicopter here just to not use too much fuel and I'm gonna run over to the farm. Uh, do I have any water? I have dirty water, I'm gonna drink it. I'm desperate for it. There we go. Did I pick up the corn? Might have a little bit of um, water in it. Hydration, yeah, a tiny bit. Can save our lives. There was a greenhouse at this farm, so we could potentially get some more berries. Where on earth was it? Okay, maybe it's not worth running to. Was it over here? No, yeah, we're gonna take the chopper. Also, a quick thing that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bump our survival skill up using the experience that we have, just because that is the thing that we are desperate on right now. So right now, the survival is at full uh, maximum level. I used a bunch of experience for that. Um, yeah, because... Oh, the zombie re respawned. Did the loot respawn by any chance? No. <laughs> Could have been. I'm gonna kill the zombie because I think they might be able to sometimes drop the chart. Um, but yeah, that's going to hopefully increase our <laughs> survivability. Alright, back in the chopper we go and let's find that farm. Again, gotta be careful of the trees because you don't want to hit those. Oh, it's all the way over here. Okay, yeah. Good thing we took the chopper then. Uh... Doesn't look like we have a well. E yes, there's a well. Okay, good. We have water. <laughs> we'll survive. And that looks like a scooter down there, actually. Alright. Yeah, in this case, I'm gonna go on the inside view. I'm gonna park the chopper right outside here. There's a lot of zombies. Yeah, we have berries over there. And a shed. Please let there be a chart in the shed. Be aware, by the way, I could have died from jumping out of the helicopter in the sky because you can actually die from its blades so or get hurt anyway so yeah be careful of that jumping out of uh helicopters that are flying all right let's get rid of all these farmers let's uh, see if we have some whoa excuse me boy let's see if we have some useful food in here uh, planter and eh, don't, i don't need another planter don't need that, I just need useful food. Uh, grape juice, <laughs> can't bar. That's nothing. That's like nothing here. Oh dear. Yeah, that's nothing. Nothing so far. Let's keep going. Let's get water though. Let's get water. Actually, I'm gonna go th with the berries because the water is dirty and my immunity is already at 63%. So that's a bit critical for us at this point. Oh, we got an invisible one. Smack you in the head. Oh dear. Let's get you. Let's get the fast ones. I don't really want to get hit. Again, because my music. Oh, civilian ammunition. I'm going to take that. Do we have anything useful in here at all? Nope, this building is completely empty. All right then, I'm very excited for this shed. Hmm, okay, not, not, nothing. All right, fair enough, we will keep searching. Smack you, all right. I don't know if these berries are good or bad. Oh, they look, they, they don't look good. Very suspicious looking. Let's see what they do. Hopefully they don't increase our immunity. No, they do not, but all controls are inverted. I'm pressing S to move forward right now. Oh, now it's inverted, inverted again. Okay, they do a lot of weird stuff, but they do increase our food and our thirst. So that is good. I'm going to save the other ones. A thing to note, 
um, if you have foods that gives you water, if you keep eating them, um, they will only give you water or hydration as long as they also replenish your hunger. You can't... Oh, some of the colors are still weird. I was like, eh, that doesn't look right. Um, but yeah, you can't keep eating them if you're not hungry. You can, but they'll just go to waste because they, they won't refill your, um, your thirst. All right, well, this place was a bust. Did not have anything of use to us. Let's uh, go up and hope that we actually find something. I was almost about to press F again. Okay, let's see if there's something we can see up here. Nothing. I think... Hmm. There's a spot up there. I see a road going over there. That might be a campground. It kind of looks like a campground. I think that will be our last visit for this episode. If we don't find a map, then... Yeah, that's a campground. If we don't find a map here, I think I'm just gonna search for one off camera. Um, and then start recording when I actually find it. Because otherwise, this is gonna take way too long. So let's quickly go through this. I see the episode is around 24, 5-ish minutes. So I do want to cut it here, but I do want to find a map if possible. So let's land right here and jump out. Let's test it. Let's uh, check these tents and huts real quick. The sun is going down as well. If I don't find anything here, I'll just search on my own because we can't have all episodes of me just trying to find the stupid piece of paper with drawings on it. So let's take a quick look. That is a spitter. Uh, I don't... If you're good, you don't have to... Ow. Okay, maybe you do. Yeah. I should just shot that thing. Sometimes I think you can get in there and kill him before he shoots you. Or let him shoot and then after he has shot, go in and attack. Just avoid his shot. But yeah, that's... That happened. Uh, there's a flamer in that tent. Let's go ahead and clear this entire... Ooh, compound bow. You know what? Might as well use it. Oh, look at that. Smack. Look at this. Hawk hound. I'm going to take that. It's in very poor shape. But I'm going to take it because you never know. Smack you in the head. Oh, a crossbow. That's even that's even better. Um, I'm going to take the arrow out of this. I'm going to drop this and I'm going to equip the crossbow, which I have a skin for, apparently. Yeah, I'm going to take that, actually, because that's pretty cool. The arrows we can repair, I believe, with scrap metal. I'm not too sure. Still going to keep the blunt force, of course. Uh, the hawk hound. I'm going to keep that. Maybe we can make hunting... Uh, make it into our hunting weapon. It's not really something... Oh, and sports shot. <laughs> By me saying make it into our hunting weapon, I don't mean... Um, I don't actually mean craft it into anything specific, but like just have a specific use for it. That's what I meant. Alright. Yeah, a chart is not gonna happen here, I don't think. Uh, do, do, yeah, that's not gonna happen. We have one more tent. One more chance? Uh, no. Boat? Nope. Anything in here? Ooh, an actual canteen. That's lovely. That's good. I do believe, yeah, it, it's gonna hold, a, it's gonna hold um, more water than our makeshift one. So that was a great find. Uh, yeah, that was a great find, actually. What about here? Do we have anything? We have a grand little bar. That's useful. Do we have anything in here? And there was this bit of... <laughs> No, thank you. No, thank you. Let's get you out of the way before this guy comes over. And smack. Okay, ah, I'll run into it. <laughs> Let's get this final guy. Potential chart, please. Ah, crossbow. I have my hopes up. 
but nothing. Nope, there's nothing here. All right, well then, that's just going to be it for this episode then. Oh, wait, there's one more card here we have not checked. Uh, nothing. Sport shot. A tomato and knife. Uh, yeah, nothing here. Um, yeah. Well then, that's quite all right. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this episode then. I hope you enjoyed. I'm going to be searching on my own to find the chart or map or GPS that we need. And once I find it, I'm going to record me finding it uh, if I'm able to. We have some cows here. And what's that? I did not see this on my way in. Let's actually get some food while we're here. What does this say? Uh, I don't even want to try and pronounce that because that's probably German and <laughs> I don't want to butcher it. Oh yes, by the way, cows drop milk. Where did my other arrow go? There. And you can drink that. So I definitely want to get the other cow that ran this way. So that will be the final thing that we do here. And do the smack. I missed again. And smack. No meat. But at least we have the thirst covered. <laughs> Where did my other arrow go? I can't see it. All right. Oh, that is. All right. Uh, where? Me? Eh. Give. Yeah. There we go. All right. Well, that's going to be it for this one. Hope you enjoyed. In the next episode, I will have a chart with me or a GPS, and we will start building our base or go looting a military base. But I think we will be, um, yeah, I think we will definitely be going to build a base because we have been doing a lot of looting in the last couple of episodes. So, yes, in the next episode, we will be building our base. So stay tuned for that. But that's going to be it for this one. Hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye. And the sun is setting. Well, time to get a move on. Yeet. See you next time. Bye-bye.